up. So, so one of the coolest things about using the mic two with the X3 with the Bluetooth is you can start and stop the recording with just your voice. However, that's about where the benefits end. After that, it's just not worth it. And the main reason is the audio quality, which I'm gonna give you an example of at the end, because right now we're doing internal recording on the mic two with INC turned on and obviously 32-bit float. Now, if I close the visor, you can quickly see kind of like the difference change in the audio. It's not much, but it is there. So if you were out there, motorcycle, whatever, and you got this kind of setup, internal recording to the mic two with the INC, I've got the Smart Lav Plus running up the side here into the back of the helmet, underneath the padding, right up here to the front of the helmet. So that's the kind of audio that we're getting. And it's pretty solid, I gotta say. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lift the visor up or so you can kind of hear the audio difference, but also just cause it's hot. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, the update does not allow you to do intelligent noise canceling when it's connected to Bluetooth. You still can't record straight to the mic when it's connected to Bluetooth, which just needs to be a software update from DJI. There's gotta be a way to override that where if you just hit the record button, the mic just says, hey, start recording onto the mic. I don't know why you can't like maintain Bluetooth connection and do that. It's gotta be a fix for that. Um, unless they're trying to keep it proprietary for their devices and not let you use it with the X3 and stuff like that, which would be kind of annoying, but maybe one of those kinds of things. So the main thing here is that if you're gonna do motorcycle, full helmet biking, go get a, go get a lav mic. I'm using, like I said, the Smart Lav Plus. It's the road it runs into here. But I would get one that doesn't require an adapter, which this one does, because it's made for iPhones and stuff. Um, and then just mic yourself up. Leave the lav permanently set in there, right in the middle, and bank on. Just anytime you want to go out with the motorcycle, whatever, just connect your helmet to the mic at the end of the day, and then go out and record. Start the X3, let it just film whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, and have this audio going. And if you want to stop talking, hit the record button on the on the um, mic and you're good to go. Because at the end of the day, I haven't done enough tests and it would take a lot more time to figure it out, but the audio quality coming from the, uh, the Bluetooth connection with the lav mic is complete trash. And the main reason for that is the gain. You're gonna have to like figure out a way to lower the gain on the mic too. And I know I've got it set to plus two or plus 10. So I I'm, I'm not sure if that's, I don't know enough about this tech and because they've done so many you know recent updates or whatever but i think once i set it to plus 10 from the osmo pocket 3 the mic 2 is now recording at plus 10 i think but i don't know if that carries over to other devices and so that's kind of a whole another world of tech stuff that I'm not too sure about now if i turn the intelligent noise canceling off you're going to see this in a second really quickly here um where are you there you are Turning the INC off really doesn't make much of a difference at all, just so you're aware, but it is there. I'm also gonna go ahead and show you the setup that I have right now. So we're gonna have this little Go 3. <laughs> Say hello to the Go 3. And this is the actual setup that we're doing. So I've got the Go 3 right there. The X3 is only that far from me, but it's giving a really nice field of view experience, POV kind of thing for the bike. So even if you weren't trying to, I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. Um, even if you weren't trying to do, you know, vlogging or whatever like that, you just wanted to like document your journey and stuff and maybe, maybe even like record audio and stuff. But this setup is really nice to give somebody a POV of biking and it's an easy way to kind of track your own progress, share your story with people. I think honestly, if you're not, you know, in this kind of a helmet, you're using like a normal bike helmet, you just put a mic on your side. What a great opportunity for a thousand bucks. You get the whole 360 experience, mount that to your bike, and then start your podcast. Start a podcast that you do while you're out biking where you just share some of your thoughts and ideas with nice, crisp, clean audio. Like, whew, man, if you got something good to say or to share, what an opportunity. Now, the reason that I even have this helmet is because I used to have a Ninja 360, or sorry, a Ninja 300, and I had to sell it because my car died, which is a real bummer. So that's tough. Nice job, buddy. Keep it up. I don't know how good that audio was. We'll find out. Um, but I um, that's pretty much it. So 
overall, this kind of gives you the idea of the audio. And now what we're going to do is switch over to the Bluetooth. And I promise you, it's trash. So um, if you want to stick around and watch that, you can. But I think the rest of this video has already given you what you need to make a buying decision. Just get yourself the mic too. Love mic, run it through here, plan to record and turn it internally and let it go if you want audio like this. Otherwise, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. So let's switch over and show you how bad it is. So I will say, once again, the coolest thing is that you can start and stop the recording from the mic. Now, I am basically whispering because I'm trying to keep the gain from peaking and I don't know how much of a difference it's making, but I suppose if you wanted to do this Bluetooth recording and you wanted to whisper into the mic, maybe this will work. I don't know. I haven't heard this audio yet, so we're gonna find out. But I'm gonna close the visor now so you can hear what it would sound like if I was just whispering inside my helmet to myself, which gives a very different experience audibly, because we don't normally talk in this vocal way, but this is what we're doing now. So, if this sounds halfway decent, uh, that's kind of crazy. Craig, I want you to know you're the reason we made this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. But I'm going to talk my own now, and you're going to hear the difference. And if I was just talking like this to share my journey with the world, you're going to peak like crazy. This is like the same volume that I was talking at when I was talking with the uh, internal recording. So just keep that in mind if you're someone trying to figure this out. This is what we got going on. It is not the best. Um, and obviously if I close the visor back down, it's really terrible. So if you're someone that wanted to hear the difference, this is what it sounds like. Not good. Um, but I have a feeling that if I drop my voice way back down to here, it might actually work. So if you wanted to start a whisper vlog, or something like that, mode of vlog. Maybe this is the way to do it. Personally, once again, I'd say, go get yourself um, just a mic, a lav, and do internal recording, and you'll be happier for it. Now, this whole video started because Craig took the time to comment. So, if you're still watching, please, um, maybe just take the time to comment. Share your thoughts and your questions. It helps me make videos like this that I think are super helpful for everyone trying to figure out the answer to these questions. All right, that's it. I hope you have a great day. And I don't know if this video really worked out with the audio, so I guess we'll find out. But I feel like the whispering was our best bet as we finish this. Bye. Stop recording. Stop recording.